Welcome everybody to Chaz's channel. I of course am Chaz and today I'm going to talk to you about the Retro Game Con. It was held this past weekend, uh, November 14th, 2015 in upstate New York in Syracuse and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got there, some of my game pickups and also the nice swag bag I got for being, uh, where I should say, purchasing a VIP ticket. Uh, this is what it came with. It came with a VIP badge. It was $50. It came with a bag of goodies and also got you into the event an hour earlier. For, for myself and other VIP, the door opened at 9 a.m. as opposed to 10. I like to take advantage of that because for any of you who go to game conventions, you know, a lot of times people can scatter like stray cats and run around like rats and want to get all the best stuff. And, uh, you know, you, you want to get a, a chance to before the hectic crowds get there. And, you, you know, you might not find that one game you're looking for. Kind of so, you know, everyone doesn't pick through it right away. So that's one of the big reasons like I, I like getting there as early as I can. So let me show you what I got. This is the bag it came in. As you see, it's got Retro Game Com. That's their mascot, the Retro Boy. Got a nice Final Fantasy design. As I mentioned, it came with this VIP tag. And also uh, this t-shirt with the Final Fantasy inspired design. Very cool. Let's take a look inside the bag, see what it came with. You get a poster. Done in the black box style, uh, Retro Boys Rampage. Nice little ditty there. Let's see what else is in the bag here. Uh, I forget what this is called. Uh, I know these are pretty popular. I think it's called Tam, Tam Toys. Tam, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, this was a Zelda one. Uh, the label came off of it. This is from Zelda, the Phantom Hourglass. The little character there. I don't know uh, who that is because I haven't played the... Phantom Hourglass, but still, nice little toy trinket there. Anything free, interesting like that, I like. Let's see here. Uh, I came with a Nintendo Holiday Buyer's Guide, Holiday Gift Guide. Let's see here. Uh, came with some dice, actually. Came with two multi-side die and also ten regular dice, courtesy of Cheap Ass Games. That's pretty cool. Not in the, into dice or card games, really. But still, I like dice, and that was, you know, very, very nice to get. Also, came with a Super Mario deck protector sleeves. Seems like there's 65 in here. Uh, again, I don't play the card games, so I'm not sh exactly sure how it works. But still, a uh, nice little item. Definitely take that for free. Also... Now this is really cool. This is a bit box from Stone Age Gamer. They were a big supporter, uh, one of the sponsors, I should say, for this event. And it's all done up. There wasn't a Retro Boys Rampage game in here, but there was a lot of neat stuff packaged in here. Uh, bookmark, showing off uh, Cascade Panic, along with a coaster. Put that over there. Uh, Dave & Buster's was also a very big sponsor for this, and there is a free $20 gameplay card. Some advertisements. This one is a 3D image printing from the Village Crone. A lot of little business cards, 50% off, one used game purchase, or 20% off. There's a Dave & Buster's VIP card. I'm not sure if... Uh, any money or anything's on that, how this works, I actually don't have one in my area. The closest one is an hour away, which I do travel a lot, so I could get use out of that. I get a one free all-day breakfast item from McDonald's. Some more business cards in here. Uh, this is neat. This is a little, I don't know if it's a keychain. I guess you could use it as that, but it's a little wood engraving of Retro Boy. Uh, nice wood, nice and thick. It's a pretty cool little item. Let's see here. Also, there's a Retron... Retro Game Con 2015 Magnet. This is the same design as the shirts the volunteers and the employees were wearing. That's pretty neat. And also, this is this is actually really cool. This is probably the neatest thing if I can get it out of here. It's a little card, not much on it, but it is a... I'm going to cover up the Steam code. But it's a free game for uh, Rush Delta Z. I believe that's the name of the game. It's a space shooter. A little picture there. might be a little difficult to see. But that is a free Steam code for that game. Very cool. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to show you some of the things I picked up while I was there. Try not to spend too much money, but I did. 
kind of like everybody. This is uh, one of the neatest things I think I've picked up. If anyone here is familiar with Kickstarter, this is one of the items on Kickstarter. The author was actually there. His name is Jeffrey, I hope I don't butcher the name, Jeffrey Wittenhagen. He compiled this book uh, with some help from Kickstart and a few other people. This is a complete NES guide. It has a collection of every NES game ever made uh, for North America. It has uh, different variations like the Indiana Jones, the Last Crusade, that type of deal, or Temple of Doom. As you see here, there's a little picture of the box. There's a checklist underneath, so if you do have the game, you can actually use this as a checklist. Uh, for the cart, the box, and manuals, got a separate space for each one. There's a screenshot, and then a little description. Uh, Jeffrey was there. He was the one selling these. He was very, very nice. He was kind enough to sign this for me as well. And he was talking about his upcoming books. In fact, there even is a section here that has his upcoming books. He already has published one, and he does number them, actually, two, and he does it on purpose. This is Roman numeral two. The first one is Roman numeral one, because he wants to have it be in a complete set where... One, two, three, four, so you can stack them. And his first book was Hidden Gaming Gens, Generation by Generation. So he is coming out with new books. There's actually going to be a reprinting of this from what he was telling me from my understanding. He only had a few extras of these from Kickstarter, and he was going to events and selling them. Uh, I can't recall the number. It wasn't that many. It was probably like maybe 20, 30, something like that. I, I can't recall. Um, but enough where he can go to the events and sell them. He was selling these at a very good price, definitely lower than on uh, the Kickstarter, but of course they didn't come with the bonuses that some of the Kickstarter tiers had. These are going to be in a second printing, so it's not like you can no longer get these. It will be a second printing in the future. He's actually uh, was very nice to tell me about his military service as a, as a military man myself. I could appreciate that, and I definitely uh, appreciated his service. Uh, he published it himself right down here, uh, Hagen Books, and he told me that the publisher will not be himself, basically. That uh, while it's not so much a collector's being the being that he published it, it it's still neat to have that so another place will publish it. And these are kind of like the original. Um, but you still can get your hands on these in, in the near future. So definitely not a bad item to have. Very cool. Plan on filling that out. Oh, show you some of the pickups I got. I love bargain bins. And I was able to get all these items. One dollar each. Got a Super Nintendo controller. 2600 Wico controller. And... These Nintendo cases, which I like putting my loose carts in, specifically my repros that I make. I do make repros. It's very easy to make. Sooner or later, I will put up some videos on what I've made and how to make them, the steps, the processes, so on and so forth. The good thing about these, which I actually wish I bought more, I wish I got more Super Nintendo controllers from the gentleman selling it. He had a bin full of controllers, NES, Super Nintendo, all a buck each. If you try purchasing any of these type of controllers now, as you know, especially the first party, it's seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve dollars. He was selling everything for a buck each, but I have a ton of Nintendo controllers as is. But I do like modding them. I like putting little LEDs and those kind of items in there as well. Now out of the games. I was able to find this. Two crew dudes. Fantastic arcade. Um I guess it's a beat 'em up similar to bad dudes or I forget the, oh, similar to Bad Dudes, everyone knows that game. This one, you pick up all kinds of crazy items and toss them around. Signs, cars, really good, like that a lot. Picked that up at a very good price, not with the sticker price that's on there. Got a box copy of Double Dragon for a very good price as well. And when I say good price, I mean lower than eBay. Um, or lower on par, I should say. Uh, I don't want to go, well, I don't like to go too expensive, but obviously these places do have to sell and make money. I understand that. So I try to get a fair deal while not ripping the, the vendors off. And I am pretty savvy on what costs what. So I got a box copy of Double Dragon there. This is one I really like having uh, back in my collection. Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Average price is like 90 100 bucks. They were selling at the, at the GameCom uh, at other places. And also online. I got this at a very good price. It does have a rip in it. It is complete. Uh, that helped take a little bit of the money off, but I get this at a very, very good price. Um, I once had this in my collection. Pretty much, I had everything rare in my collection, but I sold it a long, long time ago. I've always regretted it. And if you're trying to build a collection back now, as anybody knows, it's going to be tremendously hard because the prices just keep going up and it's not going to change. Well, things I picked up here. picked up a little instruction book for, for Ninja Gaiden. Metal Gear Solid VR Missions. Very inexpensive dollar for the, for the instruction book. I like to collect instruction books and trade them to friends or 
give them to people who need them. And this one, this one is definitely another uh, fantastic find for myself. I'm a huge Doom fan. I, I almost have Doom for every system. I did have it for every system at one point. I'm trying to collect it again, but this is Doom for the 3DO. I got a fantastic price on this. Uh, the gentleman who sold me this also sold me the Double Dragon, so I was able to kind of get a package deal on that. Very good condition box. It's complete. has the disc, the case, the instruction manual, everything. Very, very happy to find this. And also a good thing, too, about the Retro Game Con. Oh, this also came in there, too. came with a button in that swag bag. Don't want to leave that out. Um, the Angry Video Game Nerd was also at the Retro Game Con, which is very cool. I'm a big fan. I would assume a lot of the people watching this are also fans as well. He was there signing autographs, selling his DVDs, selling posters, his um, Monster Madness videos, all the stuff he does in his channel. It was really nice to meet him. Uh, took pictures with him and my daughter, and he was very nice enough to sign some of my copies of my games. His two most hated ones, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and E.T. the Extraterrestrial. I actually love this game. This is one of my favorite Atari games. And that's from being 5, 6, and having to learn how to play this game without any instructions. When you do that, it kind of gives you, kind of makes you like the game whether you want to or not. And he did sign them, and I got pictures that people don't think. I took a picture purposely so people wouldn't think I signed these myself. But as you see there, it says James A A V G N. So I was very, very happy that he did that for me. I'm going to buy some cases for that to keep those stored away. So, so that's pretty much it. This is everything I got. Very, very good find for me. I'm very happy to have this stuff in my collection. I uh, can't wait to play them, too, when the time comes around. But uh, that was the Retro Game Con in Syracuse, New York. There's going to be one next year. This was the third time. It's only been getting bigger and bigger from my understanding. I'm definitely going to go again next year. I can't wait. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like it, please subscribe. And other than that, see you later.